For migraine headache sufferers, there's a new class of drugs now being tested that may change the landscape for treatment. Over 37 million people suffer from these oftentimes debilitating headaches, and for 2 to 3 million sufferers, they're chronic. Women suffer from them more than men, and they usually occur during their working years. I have been a kindergarten teacher for the past 11 years, and I have been dealing with migraines for over 20 years. They're hard to deal with. Migraines are frustrating because you'll plan something and then you'll have to cancel because they can be debilitating. More and more, it's becoming clear that the migraine uh, attack itself is, is due to what they now refer to as a neurovascular phenomenon and that the migraine is felt to now probably start in the brain itself and then that, that ends up basically um, setting off sort of abnormal discharges which then create the whole um, aspect of migraines. Currently, the only course of action is to methodically work through a long list of existing drugs. And if those don't work, it's on to more complex and expensive therapy options. One treatment involves um, abortive therapy. So these are medications you would take to get rid of the headache, get rid of the attack when it occurs. The other category of medicine we use for migraine typically are the preventatives. If the headaches are resistant to the abortive therapies, we will sometimes put them on a daily drug to try to reduce the number of headaches that they're having. Right now, we have no cure for migraine. Um, you know, the preventatives would be, in a sense, the closest thing to trying to cure them in the sense that we are trying to substantially reduce the number of attacks somebody has. But phase two trials of some promising new drugs have begun. I think this new class of drug looks to be very promising. Um, the data on the efficacy looks great. I think this class of drug is um, you know, helpful and unique in the sense that it is targeting something completely different than we have ever looked at with migraine. I'm very excited that there are some new migraine medications coming out. I think it's time that there's a change in what's used to treat migraines and I'm excited to see what happens. Dr. Bodner has given me my life back. Um, I don't have headaches every day. I was having headaches um, on average of 20 days a month and now I range from five to seven days a month.